Scegliete i tuoi sali DS, altrimenti se hanno un nuovo power 101.7 FM, e naturalmente non si contava, avevano un nuovo informazione per voi, e sono so, so, nel cammino per il quale vi dovete dire eh, di... Nel cammino per il quale vi dovete dire di 35 anni, Brazilian Flash. Oggi ho portato un tema a un mese che non è in studio, che non è un driver del studio. Ma se vi chiedete un po' conversare con Tiki, arriva il quale con il nostro paese spera e il fine di settimana qui arriva a pista il nuovo nuovo di Palo Marga e noi con il nostro stato di Jonathan. Jonathan, come vuoi stare? Artur, buon dia, buon dia, grazie per l'opportunità di vedere una volta più e per iniziare in full pleno preparazione per il Caribbean Shootout, Jet Car, Mega Jet Car Invasion camina com um, um, mostrando que o que também vira algo super grande um, nós temos uma carreira para cada passo é um de uh, Jason Herman que é tremendo e uh, a corrida do robô então nós esperamos um, é mesmo a corrida off mas e um, é sempre visto que o um, drag está vindo no back um, da eh, comunidade em verdade, ali uma pista nova yeah. qual que nós estamos duro e esse é de dia que quer um, invitar tour corredor o corredor que tem slicks, ou semi slicks, amanhã já não são, para seis horas, tem que ter um ar, que tem chance de vir um teste para o auto, de vir assim para o chum, e na outra parte, que é qualificado ainda, para você também vir a Joe Webbs, mas amanhã já não são, tem um open road test, um teste em chum, para caminhar com o vir teste para o auto, e isso é para essa aqui, está em boa condição para ir para ir para o chute auto. All right. Um, Preparando um weekend grande, começando, e acaba de um, Joe Webbs, uh, Jonathan. Sure. Um, nós também temos tem diferente, naturalmente, um, atividade going on, um, sure. um, e a de Joe Webbs acaba um pouco bem para classificar, right? Sim, sure. qualifying, sim. Mm -hmm. Joe Webbs, nós estamos começando de conta, só nós não queremos, nós queremos o evento acaba de trampar, e mm -hmm. nós temos a ordem de polícia para acabar o evento trampar, não mais lá para o Jerusalém, e se tudo não estresse, ou para nós como promotor, não só, o então, PBA Drag Race Cultura e Igreja que tem durante uma carreira, quando eu estava acaba um ou dois horas, então tem um dia até essas três horas de forma e por aí, um, três horas de manhã. Então, se nós queremos apoiar isso aí, e isso é o significado que nós vamos fazer agora um pique mais tempão, e também eliminar um qualifying dela, então, quando eu um qualifying para toda a categoria, né? qual que eu pista, ou qual que eu não pista, o Jaron Sol, ah, não, sorry, o Joe Webbs, vou por começar a qualificar a cama. Joe yes. um, Webbs, uh, depende da quantidade de auto, se eu vou a dois passos, três passos, ele está open, mm -hmm. e somente é passe que vai usar como de qualifying pass para que a carreira não possa seguir o seu grande. Então, nós também temos a categoria no box, box, import class, junior dragster, criou o law, sportsman bike, então nós temos um paquete completo e automaticamente nós temos um big thing, um big show, que está em jet car, uh, de mind doer, nós temos um driver, a mm -hmm. mind doer, um, nós aqui em Mind Doot, especificamente no 35 aniversário, o Mike aí vem cá para a Rumba ser com nós aqui. Um gosto de evento também. Tá? Correto, é um bonito show e um, é, não tem nada mais melhor para três. By the way, nós estamos fazendo tour, tour e renenando o sample de início de Brasil Cash Race Foundation, um, um nome de maneira de Luiz Jiménez, que é o primeiro driver de Brasil Cash Camaro. Tudo nos apreciando na Mundo e um, assim nós podemos celebrar muito o 35 aniversário de Brasil Fresh Race Foundation. Mas, um, Arthur, se você tem a oportunidade de querer introduzir Mike Dewitt, Mike Dewitt é uh, um very popular jet car driver, e nós já falamos over 25 anos de experiência. E o que eu posso dizer? É um honor ter você para o nosso 35 uh, aniversário, então vai ser um grande para nós. It's, it's, Better to have a good friend with us than... <laughs> it's absolutely my pleasure to be back on island. I've been working with uh, Tito and Jonathan and the... Brazilian Flash. Yes, and the Brazilian Flash Foundation. Uh, your grandfather, we started this many, many years ago. Yeah. And it's just been an honor and a pleasure to come to the track. You guys are so passionate about racing. Yeah. Uh, you bring everything to the table. Yeah. It's just an, it's an experience that you don't get in the States. It's just, you get rid of all the stuffiness, you can race, you can have fun. You, you leave with friends and family. It's just an amazing time. I've raced, like, I, like Johnson said, I've raced over 25 years in the Jets. And I started racing, drag racing in 1991, running just my street car that I drove to work in it. And uh, 
I've been all over the world, in Aruba and the island racing is, uh, I mean, you never have to ask me twice to come here. He don't ever get that. <laughs> I'm out and I'm like, I'm on it, man. Let's get my suitcase out. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Let's do this. And that's true. And um, um, Mike is a type of guy, if you tell him, um, you don't need to ask him. You just tell him, hey, you're booked there. You go to Aruba. It's, it's, it's a green light. It's yeah, absolutely. I'd come here by canoe dragging that boat and I'm right behind me. You tell me to. I'm out there with it. Yeah. A couple of horses and here I come. <laughs> it's absolutely, the track is amazing. I can't wait to get out there and see the new track and put some laps on it, light up the night sky, put some smoke and fire out there, make some noise, put some numbers up on this board and uh, see if we can put a 250 mile an hour run on this track. Imagine, right. 250 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. That's uh, we're here to leave it all on the table. I don't go to any track and come home with anything in the trailer. It's uh, it's all or nothing. That's the thing about the Jets. You know, they don't run, they don't idle. It's either yeah. all or nothing. It's full blown, 100 percent. They they won't run. They won't do it. They don't like to respond yeah. Yeah. unless it's all out. So if you if you can explain a little bit about the engine you have and and what's what what's going on with the Jet car because um, you are in jet racing and myself I I don't know much about you know those type of engines and. How does it work and how does it perform in the car? Well, it's obviously it likes to live up in the air at high altitudes. So when we take these off the planes and put them in the cars, there's a whole lot of tuning to get the air and the fuel mixture where they want to run on the ground. But the particular engine I have in my car is a J85. It's a, uh, it's a commercial type of the military engine that they use in the F5 uh, Navy fighter jets for training. It's one, one of the most successful jet engines that's, uh, that we've ever produced. General Electric's go-to, it's been in everything from Navy fighters to trainers to your commercial Learjets, your L25s, your Citations. The only problem is, is they, they're very loud. They're an older technology, so they're loud for these new airports. But um, it's an eight um, compressor engine. It has eight different sections. There's a blade section that rotates, and there's a section in between that that is stationary. And those are just create pressure and back pressure, and they're building up um, pressure for thrust. And it's it's eight times. By the time you get to the end of the motor to the hot end section, it's pulling about 3,500 cubic feet of air a second through it. So it's like sucking all the air out of your house in one second. It's moving air. It, it creates it, it it creates its own weather pretty much. But uh, and uh, it's a, it has its own afterburner. We can incorporate an afterburner section on it that gives it its thrust and power that lets it go. Yeah. But I mean, we're only running these things at 1,000 or 1,300 feet, and they're just figuring out that they're getting ready to run. So the meat of this motor and this car is not in running it, it's in getting that thing to slow down and stop. Slow down and stop. There's a lot of speed you're going to see in Palomarga this weekend. Yeah. The theory of the jet engine is suck, squeeze, bang, blow. It's sucking air in, compressing it, it ignites it, and blows it out the back. And all you got to do is hold on and make sure you can stop it. If, if I need to compare it with horsepower, how many, how many are, I don't know how they compare power with. This is the beauty of this, these turbines. This turbine, with all its oil and all its, its internals, it only weighs about 385 pounds. It's a, 36 inches long and it's 38 inches or 28 inches in diameter, but it puts out almost 10,000 horsepower. Jesus, 10,000! Wow. It um, it is a beast. It loves to eat. It once it starts sucking air, it's just ready to go. And uh, it's a handful. But the problem, I've read everything from alcohol to top fuel. And um, when you take your foot out of a naturally aspirated motor, it falls on its face. This jet is spinning at 38,000 RPM at its highest rotation when it's ready to go. So it'll take two or three seconds for it to spin down so you can even control it. <coughs> so the problem with the jets are is once you realize you got a problem, that motor is going to take you wherever that problem is. Sure. Yeah. A jet into or a regular car, you get out of the foot, you take your foot out of the pedal, it'll fall on its face and you can handle it. Dus eigenlijk kijk je dat bij zo'n tanker een tikje maar zo fysiek voor kwalke auto auto komen neer maar lager voor trotbij wat in wat in dominio die auto. Ik zeg je nou het dura Dos per, do, um per dois segundos, por exemplo, se ainda não tem bled na turbina da vez que trai, caminha com tá, uma ETCD em momento de trabalho também. Então, é, tá, é, tá, é tá difícil, é um pouco mais difícil do que um regular um, race car. Oh, yeah. The problem is, is the jet, it's a funny car, so it's fighting yeah. the air, aerodynamics, and then the jet itself is sucking air in and through it, so 
the body itself doesn't know what it's doing. It's trying to go left, right, left, and right. Yes. And the problem with the jet, not the problem, but the thrill to me of the jet, is because of all the safety, you, it's impossible to drive this car two-handed. On a top fueler car, you let off with a handbrake, you grab the steering wheel, and you got two hands to do it. The jet is powered with a pneumatic button for, the, for its fuel, and it's on a spring system for the throttle. So if I ever let go of the throttle with my right hand and grab the steering wheel, it kills everything. So whatever happens, it's one-handed. Um, one one hand, hand on the steering wheel, one hand on the parachute. Uh, yeah. Dus het is sturen auto bij de bal, neem zes seconden, dus je ziet binnen meer op een man. Dat is een kraan, man. Wat er maar een parachute. Wat er maar een parachute, wat je hebt, ja. All right, interessant, interessant. Maar meer een jaar in auto tot paraan in Napa? Zing. Zing, heb je dan een motor word naar San Nicolaas? Maya nos trabaja en la Car Quest. Entonces, mientras hacemos un job web, y yo voy a hacer un plan de base para los gadgets, para los show y todo. Sí. El auto tiene un bache nuevo, es un bache que nos ha dado aprobado de Mike para nos poder encorajar con nuestra celebración. Y nos pone en el bache de Brazilian Flash, que en verdad te queda un poco impresionante. Y ese es nuestro baile, no te imaginas un baile igual que el auto vaya a ver, sin un flama, sin un... Uh, Mike, I had another question I was so curious about is um, the flame that comes out in the back. What's the temperature you're talking about? That's all, it's all around Celsius. So you're talking anywhere from 450 to around 580 Celsius. When that so thing's, so when you, full if we stand in the back there, you burn. Yeah, no, you, we you can have, have a barbecue. Have marshmallows, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> you're just wasting time. It's definitely hotter with the back of the motor than the front. Nice. Yeah. nice. Ja, dat is goed. Is we in de show natuurlijk van 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 ons hier een checkout ticket dan. En hier dat je dat dan wel eens ja, een paar alumni dan kan je een ticket van mij horen. Om een ticket kan je niet zeggen wat het drinken. Nou, zei toch ook echt om Arthur. Ik weet dat als je naar Noord Turkije gaat, wat wat maakt mij dan. How many years was it that you came to Aruba um, the last time? I think we went Aruba and Curacao, if not mistaken. Yes, yes, we did the Aruba Curacao event. That yes. was in 2012. The last time I've been, I was here in 2012. 2012. It was 2003, 2007, 2008, 2012, or 2010 and 2012. Yeah, so you're talking about eight, you're talking about 12 years ago. Yes. That, uh, that last, so 12, just those I atras, um, Aruba no Owaku Jack Karmas. Eu estou pensando que há algo que nota muito em região aqui, com algo que me quer invitar no povo, sim, invitar no povo para vir a um show. Fora de um show, nós temos uma boa carreira também, nós temos alto na de Porto Rico, alto de Corsal, alto na de Aruba, com uma batalha muito grande, tem a categoria de no box e box. É importante com algo que um hype atualmente, um armamento gay com o outro, entre Luigi, Aju, um, Ramon Coffey, com Ken Van Putten, e trio neta brincando, por isso... Quem também tem título? Quem também vira The King of Import, Extreme Import. Então, um, tem, tem um roupa e bom carreira, foi na de show de Jet Car, mas tem assim, uma boa carreira, carreira de Bromer também, não exclui a Bromer não, porque tem Bromer de Cossau também, que tem a Iega, e também tem a roupa que tem a cabeça. Então, isso é algo internacional, uh, invitando o povo para... Um, Começando em que aqui acaba amanhã, vou para o Biwak e Rota, se há que o Biwak é o início aqui, eu também esperava o Perican. Mas a carreira na mesa vai começar 4, 5 e 6 de outubro. Caixa não obtenível na banda, dois bar, restaurante, tour em Napa, na Napa São Nicolás, em Curacabai, Napa Santa Cruz e Napa Chaba, Motor Work na São Nicolás e Caia Grande Service Station também, sim, banda 12. Na banda dos bares lá também e cai grande sobre station também nos tem ticket. É ticket tanto adulto 35 florins, tanto muita 25 florins. Se dá muito bom de dois dois anos e maneira tido visa hierro que em verdade nos sai partir um candidato basta grande para é muito na escola. Se é maior não dá para vir comprar ticket trem pão por só nós não trabalhamos, nós temos um candidato limitado que nós podemos ir na Palomar do Guilherme. Então, esse trabalho passa, você está na porta, não só, porque nós temos um sistema de conta, se não só, porque é super passado, porque está chegando, nós temos um stop e na porta. Então, a melhor pré-venda e na porta, automaticamente, é caixa, não tem mais caro, 
ito bira kwa yung single floor yung para duto, ito kira si binti single floor yung pamucha. Invitado, di yung aki historia, di yung celebra junto kung nos 35 anos de existência do Brasil Freshwater Foundation, di yung aki um tremendo, um dia milhona no mundo de jet car, o mais do world racing, puta tremendo, di yung aki sukondo na bau, a lot of smoke, a lot of fire, and a lot of speed. Yes, sir. Yes. And boom. Yes, Mike, we also can invite uh, all of our listeners to, to, to join this weekend at Pisa di Palomar. Yeah, I would like to say thanks to Power FM, uh, to Brazilian Class Racing for inviting us, and uh, Eagle Res uh, Resort Aruba, yeah. and all our sponsors for helping us put on this event and make it happen. I'd like to invite everybody to come out and support the track. Support all your local racers. They're working their own. They're working hard and they're, they're doing what they love. It's a passion and uh, it's going to be a good time. We're, I'd like to thank everybody on island, everyone, all this amazing love that you show us. It's, it's every time we come, it's just, it's, it's, it's the norm and we love it. Nice. Come, we'd like you to come out to the track, uh, come up and say hi to us, grab a wristband and uh, enjoy a good night of racing and fun. There's some amazing cars. We got Carlos with his Vega. Yeah, there's going to be some amazing racing. So not just a jet car. There's uh, everyone's a racer. Everybody loves what they're doing and they're passionate about it. So come out, and have a good time. It's going to be a great, great time on the island for the weekend. And thank you for having us and helping promote the event. Always welcome. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. 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 Thank um, Eta patu hene si bono a inscribi mes pa e Caribbean shootout, bota welcome. Pero unico kos unico regla kuno se pone pa e testing ang kita kung mas pero slicks of semi slicks. Dos bono ko bing test mo auto kutaya. Dos eta specificamente pa e pista, e pista ku actualmente nos based on built up attraction kung kita un pista nuovo, 0 km, non si mette pone attraction, è il circo, non si chiama mas slicks, mas auto di slicks. E è un buon coordinato anche per il NNB, anche per il pulmone auto, va a chiudere per il chun, va a il carino mes. Quindi, ricorda tutto il problema, Miami, già non sono, lo che è un test in chun, non si chiama Mata Bici, non si chiama Mata Bici, e è qualcuno, si può vinto anche, non si può vinto anche, non si può vinto anche, non si può vinto anche, Uh, Look at a nice day. For the same, we can act it about a bombasso, it about a mega event, the Caribbean shoot of mega jet car invasion. Tour Costa Clan, Tabo Somme Sea Gabo. Tabo Somme Sea Gabo Riva. Tony Amante, Hanni Velocidad, Vigian de Guinanda, Pizza di Palo Margado, the Gugicida. Thank you, naturally, Jonathan. Thank you, Mike. In a general, no, so we continue. If you don't open no, look at that, check out the party with the people who take it down. I give the food to the debate. So we can have a pista di pista di Palo Marga. I want to say that the drive is the Dushi Music of Papa Mumbayan, but the Kiona di Jesus Sonia Vivardia. All right. Well.